Hey guys, V8s here with another video review. Up for review today we have the latest release from Sideshow Collectibles DC line. Uh, that being the uh, Green Corp Sinestro Premium Format figure. This is a limited edition of 350 and it's a color variant to the original yellow color uh, Sinestro that was released a while back. Let's start by looking at the box. The box is uh, pretty colorful and uh, basically represents the uh, yellow lantern. Uh, I think Sideshow went a bit lazy with the box. I mentioned earlier this is basically a color variant of the uh, original Sinestro that was released a while back and I think basically they used the same box. I, I don't have the original to confirm but it looks like they did. All they did was they put this green sticker and remove the edition number from the bottom. Once you open up the box, this is what you're greeted with. Uh, good point to mention is Sideshow side used the high density foam here, so your package will be pretty secure. Uh, assembly is pretty straightforward. First up, you insert the body into the base, attach the chosen hand. If you got the exclusive, you'll have uh, two versions. Attach the head, and uh, that's it, you're done. Basically, you have two display configurations one with the lantern effect and next with just a plain hand personally i just went with the hand uh, because i don't like how the effect looks and uh, i'll touch more on that uh, as we go through the review so let's start with the review what do i think of the statue uh, like i said earlier this is basically a color variant that sideshow released um, from their original sinestro uh, figure uh, Basically, I think all they did was uh, color this uh, green and re-release the figure. Uh, one thing I noticed is when you look at the bottom of the base, uh, there is no number. It just says uh, limited edition, but Sideshow include a nice embossed card uh, that tells you the edition number. Now, I like the idea of the card, but I do not like the fact that there is no edition number on the bottom of the base. And this brings me to the conclusion that maybe Sideshow released uh, or produced more, more than uh, a set number of pieces for the original Sinestro and uh, basically recolored them to cash in. Uh, it's not a bad idea in terms of having uh, to have replacements because uh, I would think that the base uh, and the way it's made and even the lantern effect uh, would be fragile and uh, they would have to deal with a lot of breakages so that's why they went with this idea but uh, I mean they could just have invested in a bit more stickers and ensure that s collectors have um, you know uh, a limited uh, edition statue versus um, not truly limited the statue itself is uh, fully sculpted there's no mixed media on it uh, but uh, I personally love the sculpt uh, I have the original Green Lantern and uh, I passed on the original Sinestro that was released because I did not like the color and I did not think that it would display well with my Green Lantern and the minute they announced this variant I immediately jumped on it because uh, one it would display great and i like the overall look better than the yellow variant uh, the details on the body are amazing uh, paint applications are among the best out there i can't see any paint bleed uh, but the base itself is a bit of a controversy now i understand what they were trying to go with uh, but Personally, uh, I don't think the overall execution works well. The uh, the base looks a bit too fragile for my liking, and uh, I think that if you're not careful with it, you'll end up breaking pieces off. Uh, one particular piece that I feel is way too fragile is the uh, I don't know what you would call it the the bit which you would hold the lantern with um, it's it's held on by a piece of very thin plastic and pretty sure uh, if it is mishandled in any way it will break off the other part that I feel is uh, a bit sketchy is the alternate hand 
uh, with the lantern effect which I presume you got with the yellow exclusive as well if you went for that uh, this being an overall exclusive with only 350 they included it now I again I see where they were going with uh, in terms of the idea but again I feel the execution did not go well um, unlike the original Green Lantern this has no light up effect and uh, the overall execution of the lantern effect uh, from Sinestro's ring uh, does not work well and I think again like the base will be way too prone to breakages and issues and it just increases the overall height of the statue unnecessarily again I understand the idea I am glad that Sideshow are thinking outside the box giving us more dynamic statues uh, in terms of uh, display options etc but if the idea isn't executed well uh, ends up looking a bit cheesy uh, the clear resin is nice but it just does not uh, do it for me I don't know maybe some guys like it um, it's, it's just too fragile I mean you can see the base uh, the the some of these strands are just too thin and any mishandling in any way ends up in breakages one last thing I'd like to uh, talk about before we wrap up the review is uh, I would like to see sideshow uh, you know j making releasing more figures uh, from the green, green lantern line um, yes i know the character is not that popular uh, and i know the movie tanked but uh, there are some cool characters in the green lantern universe and uh, uh, besides uh, green lantern and sinestro uh, i think sideshow should visit the other characters uh, green lantern was one of the comics that i started up with when i was uh, reading comics as a kid so uh, you know it, uh, it holds a special place uh, in my childhood memories other than that uh, do I recommend this statue uh, definitely if you're a DC fan uh, if you're a Green Lantern fan and you have the original Green Lantern uh, released from Sideshow Collectibles this is uh, an excellent companion piece to that uh, it matches up real well and uh, they just look great together uh, if you got the yellow variant I'm really not sure if uh, this is worth investing the extra amount of money uh, one good thing though that uh, Sideshow limited this to 350 so this statue will definitely be a rare item and will pick up in price my final verdict on the statue um, because of the base and the uh, uh, f you know thin uh, lantern effect I would give this a B plus other than that there's nothing wrong with this statue uh, definite must have for any DC or uh, Green Lantern fan if you've watched my videos before you would notice that uh, I tried a couple of new things with this video in terms of editing and uh, I used uh, my main collection room as the setting uh, do let me know if you like what I've done here so I could do it in my future videos and if there was anything in particular that you did not like uh, then could you please let me know so I could take that feedback into consideration when making a follow-up video to wrap up uh, thank you for watching if you've uh, enjoyed this video, I would uh, really appreciate if you'd uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I really welcome feedback, and I'm always looking for ways to improve my videos. Uh, until I see you next time, this is V8 tuning out.